Okay, morning guys. I'm gonna do a fish update here. As we look down Fish Road. Got all my tanks in there now, one of them is still empty. I'll show you that. We'll walk through each tank and take a little look. Whoa, look at that! It's not a very big one. The worms are coming out now. Where are you at? There he is. This is a worm, not a blind snake. I <laughs> get told that so many times. It's a quite a small one compared to uh, some I get. But they're coming out of the ground. It must be because the ground is drying out. That's the only thing I can think of. We'll save him. Okay. Catfish. The catfish are crazy. I don't think you're going to see anything. The catfish are crazy. I, I wouldn't be surprised any time to see dead catfish. They hit the sides of the tank so hard. You, you know, you'd, you'd think there was a wild animal in here sometimes. You can hear them in the house just banging sometimes. It is amazing. Uh, every day I expect to see a floating fish. He killed himself. Uh, that's for sure. One thing I've done is install these uh, boxes for my electrics. Got my power bars in there. Put my worm in there over here. Snakehead, I got a filter in the tank. The reason it's in the tank is because this pump doesn't have enough lift power to get the water high enough. So I put it on a plastic chair and it's doing just fine. This is a tiny little pump. I also got my wave maker down here. It's going and it's got the water circulating pretty good. That's what the filter looks like inside. It's caught a whole lot of stuff. That's for sure it's doing its job. Uh, I haven't had any more runaway snake head. That's good. The one that did jump out when I put him back, he started losing his scales. He spent a lot of time just swimming around on the surface. But uh, I don't know where he is now, hiding somewhere. He seems to be all right. If he died, I'm sure I would have seen him. Because I was checking a lot. I was sit up in that night and I ate him. Which is possible. Over here, that's my seventh tank. Whoa, that was a tight fit getting it in there. I haven't made a top yet. I was going to make the tops out of this green stuff like I did with that one. And that stuff is breaking down in the sun big time, so. That's not good, it's not going to work. I got to find something else to make the tops out of. I'm going to have to replace that top soon. This is my main fish tank. You see I got another electric box up here. This is my main fish tank. There's still, whew, I don't even know, 350 fish in here. This is from the last batch of 500. I don't think I've harvested. I harvested a few, half a dozen maybe. This tank, I put 50, about 50 in each one of these three tanks. It's kind of like an experiment to see. These are doing good. But, uh, you know, they don't seem to be growing that much. Another thing is, I've changed the food back to what well, the big palace is 30 per 25% protein. I did find a place that has 30% big pellets, so next food I'll buy uh, the 30%. These guys seem to have slowed down a lot, but they're doing good. They're happy. This one here. Same number of fish, double the water. Exactly the same results. Can't see much, they're hiding. But the fish are the same size as the ones in there. They haven't done anything any different. So the amount of water hasn't changed much. These here, these were the biggest ones. They were the fastest growing ones. 
I'll go get some food, we'll feed these guys. They're looking good. They did have one die in here. I saw uh, two days ago I did a water change and there's a, a head, just a, like a skull cap in here. Let's get some food and we'll feed these guys. They'll put on the show. I picked up about a dozen last night. Feeding them to the snakehead. Look at that. This one's warm jerky. I cut back on their food lately. The last few days has been quite cool at night and in the morning. Well, nothing too crazy, but the food went quick. There's some nice fish in here, 15, 16 inches. I don't know how old they are. Uh, October. About three months. Yeah, yeah, right around three months. You know that. Oh, there's some beauties in here. But like I say, this is the ones I picked out the biggest ones. Put it in here with these fish. You know, the, the top 10% of them grow faster than the rest, it seems like. 10% of them don't grow at all. There's some in the big tank where there's 350, there's some in there that's two inches long, and there's some in there that's you know 14 inches. And the fact that uh, the 14 inch ones haven't eaten the two inch ones, it just means that a lot of the myth about uh, catfish is wrong. They only eat the fish when the fish is weak. Look at that. <laughs> I'll tell you about the, uh, the video I did on the catfish being eaten alive. It's quite a popular video. 180 something thousand views or whatever it is now the comments on there man oh man like okay people don't want to see that stuff so why are you watching it right, you know but yeah, people are just in dreamland wow and the, the, the nasty nasty comments comes out of these kids mouth it's amazing it really really is amazing Look at the size of that one. Look, the two of those came up here together. Beauty! <laughs> My catfish bigger than your catfish. I still get those comments. Even on the big, you know, I, I did the, the cat measuring those, uh, the, the two year old catfish, you know, they're huge. Way bigger than they should be. And I still get the comments. Jerk. My catfish bigger than your catfish. <laughs> Congratulations! I didn't know it was a competition or I would have tried harder. <laughs> you watching this guy? He keeps uh, tasting the food and spitting it out, huh? Look at that, that one did it too. Must be the wrong flavor though, those last few pieces. See if we can see anything in here. The water looks disgusting. <laughs> you can't do that. There's a lot of fish in here. A lot. 300, probably 350. Anything from about 14 inches down to about two. I 
from my experiments, you know, I got, I split these up into four tanks. These get the dirtiest water, the most overpopulated, and they grow the same. I don't see any difference. These fish like to be bunched up. They're not putting on much of a show. It's uh, cool in the mornings now. It's about 19 degrees right now, which is okay. not cool for most people, but for these guys, it is a little cool. All right, well, think about it. Check out the links in the description. Lots of cool stuff going on. This is the pump I use to uh, water the garden. Don't take long. There's some beauties in here, I tell you. I think they're catching up to the big ones in the big concrete tanks. Wow, nice fish there. But like I say, you know, there's some really, really small ones. There's, you know, that 10% that just doesn't grow. Amazing how much to eat, I'm just slowly giving it to them. Eating up a storm. Taking, as I do water changes in these other tanks I put it in this tank and that's where the big pump is and I use that to water the garden uh, I don't do a lot of water changes I really don't uh, I haven't since uh, the rain stopped I haven't thrown away any water I just water the garden I water the grass out the front for the rabbits and that's it uh, all these tanks all these fish there's not a drop of water wasted, so that's good. Uh, I, I would really like to have some better filtration, but uh, this is what I got for now, and that's it. I do have plans for this other tank, but I gotta get a top on it first. And like I said, I don't know what, what to use for material. I want it to be something solid. I was gonna use, just use shade cloth, but uh, at least the UV wouldn't wouldn't burn it up but I want something darker trying to keep the light out shade cloth is not good enough even doubling doubling it up is not good enough so I had to find something to cover it up I don't know what it'll be yet no rush I have lots of stuff on the go that's for sure a lot to keep me busy all right guys as always thanks for watching